Hello everyone, welcome back to another aquatic adventure with Erin at Wave Foundation at Newport Aquarium. We are hanging out with some very interesting fish today and I'm gonna call your attention to some specific fish. Uh, so we have lots of diamondback tetras or diamond tetras down here in the bottom of this exhibit and that's awesome. Uh, but what we're actually gonna be looking at is the fish that are up along the surface. And right now we've got actually a really good view. As you look at those fish, I want you to look for if you can see a part of their body that is outside of the water. Is there any part of their body that looks like it's creeping up above the water? For a shark, sometimes they swim and that dorsal fin is up above the water and that is sometimes, you know, kind of an image that we have for fear. For these animals, they have a different part of their body that sticks up above the water. And what I'm referring to is their eyes. So actually with this one right here, you can see there's two really like clear looking bumps right there that are sticking up out of the water and those are the tops of their eyes now another name for these are, or i'm not sure i've said a name these are called four eye fish another name is the anablep a-n-a-b-l-e-p anablep <laughs> and anableps they can be called the four eye fish because it looks like when i look at them i can see four different eyes you can see two up above the water and two below that's only because of the optical illusion of water. They do actually only have two eyes, two eyes. They actually have each pupil split though. So they do have part of their pupil that is above the water and can see out there in the air. And they have part of their pupil that's below the water and they're seeing in the water. And that is because they are a predator. And that means that the food they're eating is both below the water and above the water. So let's think, what would a fish wanna eat that's in the water and out of the water? Mainly it's insects. So they are looking for some of the insects that are gonna land on the surface of the water. And having those eyes in those different spots allows them to see as an insect lands on the water or as a small fish is swimming under them. So for the four eye fish, these split eyes make them much better predators in the lagoons and the marshes of South America where they can be found. So I'm gonna zoom in here and give you guys a better glimpse at the four eye fish or at the anableps here in our shore gallery. And we're gonna see if we can see those eyes. They just swam away from me. So you can see eyes up above. As we come over here, I'm gonna go lower so you can see the eyes below as well. They're a little skittish. So I hope you enjoy. These are our anableps or the four eye fish. And they do that so that they can be even better predators in the areas that they live. See you later.